Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Today we're going to be tying a bomber called the Labatt Blue Bomber. This is an excellent dry fly pattern for Atlantic salmon in Atlantic Canada. So without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, today we're going to be tying this on a CS42 in a size 4. And we're just going to bring our thread down the hook. That's just to lay a little bit of a base. Oh, our calf tail isn't slipping all over the place. And. As mentioned, we're going to use some calf tail for our tail and our wing. This stuff's a little bit crinkly, so what I'll do is I'll separate it out, lay it down on the table here, and then I'll uh, stack it from there. That's a good set of eyes. Alright, we're going to leave ourselves enough room for our head and we're going to do our front. Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a collar on this as well. So I'm going to bring that back a little bit because I want to leave a little bit of room for uh, collar in behind and in front of my split wing. So again, I'm just splitting this calf tail before I stack it. Just makes it a little bit easier to stack. Just measuring it up to the back. Yeah, that'll be nice. All right, so I'm going to tape up the front a little bit here just to keep that out of my way as I'm spinning deer hair. So I wanted to, uh, well I did want to do a Labatt Blue Bomber, super cool bomber. It's popular uh, in Atlanta, Canada. But I also wanted to show how we can tie this in a different way and that's almost like a, um, a wolf style or uh, anyways, a front collar with uh, split wings. So we're using this nice blue deer hair for our body today. there 
and we'll probably do a bit more but we do want to leave some room for our front collar on this So you can see I kind of have this little black space behind the wing. That's going to be uh, where we're going to be laying some collar down and in front of the wing as well. So I'm going to trim now. So I'm just going to do a couple half hitches here and just tie this in just to hold my thread while I'm doing that. Get that little fluff before we start uh, trimming here. And. We're just going to be trimming this down into a cone shape. These style bombers aren't really uh, popular in Newfoundland. It's not because they don't work, it's just we've always tied them a, a little bit more of a simpler way here. Um, but if you go to places like Quebec and New Brunswick, um, these bombers uh, tend to get a little bit more popular, like big hackle bombers over there. trying to get some of those fibers there and in the front we're just going to come in and we're just going to trim that pretty much straight up so it's a bit different than how I usually do it when I would like really round that off and I'll just kind of taper this off Just about finished here now. All right. So we're going to take our tape off the front. We're done trimming the deer hair now. And I'm just going to put our thread back on. We got lots of room for that collar. So I'm basically just trying to get this front wing to stand up. All right, and I'm just gonna try to split that in half and I'll show you after I get it done. It's just really hard to do uh, at an angle that you can see me doing it, but basically I split it in half and then I kind of figure eight with the thread um, around that wing and that'll keep it nice and split like that and I think I may just bring the wraps around one more time to see if we can get the stand up a little bit higher that's perfect all right so we're gonna have to get some hackle and we're going with the light brown for this uh, pattern 
and uh, we need a little bit of a smaller hackle for the back. Oh, that'll be perfect there. And um, then we're going to go with a larger hackle for our collar. Uh, we can do better than that. This saddle's getting picked over now. Yeah, that'll be nice. Nice taper. So, I'm going to wrap this. Giving it some pretty uh, decent space in between the wraps. And I'm just going to come back over with my thread. And bring it back up to where we just started. Cut the access off. Now I'm going to go to a Magnum uh, light brown hackle that I have and we're going to find a piece of hackle that is nice and big and hopefully appropriately sized for this bomber. That one's pretty big but I like it. Let's try it. You can tell I normally don't tie <laughs> these types of uh, flies. And we'll start off at the tip. And when we tie that in, I like to have the pomering facing backwards. All right, let's see how we're gonna do here. Well, our pomering went forward, so already <laughs> yeah, it doesn't want to lay you know what I, I really want to get this right so I'm gonna turn my hackle around and really try to get that palmering towards the back because it does look better when it does Most things when you mess up with fly tying you can fix up to some extent. Oh man, that hackle does not want to turn around. I'm going to have to kind of force it. It's not going to happen guys. We're going to have front facing uh, hackle today. I can't keep you on here while I'm trying to do this. So I just brought it down in between the wings. Sorry, I'm just going to splay that out a little bit. A lot of fibers are getting trapped there. Now the hackles decide that they want to uh, turn around. All right. And I'm just going to pin these fibers back and make a wrap. And then I'm going to finish this head off here. Yeah, so these kind of bombers almost resemble a traditional wet fly, the way the hackle is set up on them. Uh, they fish really well, so, you know, if you're used to fishing the other kind, it doesn't hurt to try something new.
I'm just going to throw a little bit of head cement in where I wrap this hackle. All right, and that is a, uh, a front collared uh, bomber that's pretty shaggy. I'm going to fix that up and brush it out a little bit. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Uh, but if you don't feel like doing that, that's fine too. Just happy to have you along. Uh, until I see you again, stay safe.